everyone, Austin Khan here, another YouTube video. This is a, I can't remember what part it is, but today is Monday's public holiday, which means more YouTube videos for all of you to enjoy, and uh, welcome back to more of Assassin's Creed 2 Remastered, and above that, let's do this. I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting culo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Alright, another mission for all of you to enjoy. So first of all, I just want to check my uh, sound to make sure everything's good. So I'm going to head up to options, then I'll head to general. Okay, so our mission is to steal the golden mask. So we have to be extra careful and extra quiet. Um, yeah, with everything that's going on. Who could hide from a man this skilled? <coughs> Who taught you to move? <sighs> Say that was quite easy just to steal the mask. We got some money, which is great, so we're gonna need some money. We've got 64,953 florins. Now, I'm not too sure how much it is back then when you had to buy a house in Italy. Get down, order! Uh oh. Okay, all the way back over here. Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco. He's on a boat. Just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Alright, awesome. Hey. Caution, friend. That was from the give. Mm. And Master Bachi is notoriously <laughs> cheap. <laughs> I 
think we should just chill out here for now. So I'll check out the objective. Remain anonymous. Okay, cool. So if you see in the top left corner, you can see that um, I'm a uh, Taurus, which means that it's all red and I can be caught. So the last time I played Assassin's Creed 2, this is the mission I got up to on the PS3. So I haven't been past this mission yet. So hopefully we can get up to it. We can have, I mean we will anyway, so I haven't been past this mission. So I, I don't know what happens after this mission and throughout the game of Assassin's Creed 2. I do have side quests to do as well in also the DLC. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! They are done. He's not leaving the boat. I will have to be swim out there. They wouldn't try it. We'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight! We... Oh, crap. Very, 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 very... Where is he at? Target lost, yeah. There he is! Still notorious, we're just gonna keep finding a way, keep finding ways to get rid of the uh, notorious. There's a couple of ways we can take down some wanted posters, <laughs> which looks fairly easy, I guess. Still fine, I'm just trying to keep finding ways to uh, get rid of the uh, wanted thing.
Exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls, Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, having a blast. Masquerade. So that's another mission done and dusted. Another sequence completed. We have five to go until we're all done with Assassin's Creed 2 remastered. And then we'll move on to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations, and then we'll just keep on doing these series. And then I'll return to Mafia 3, hopefully nothing goes wrong again. Um, it will be... Uh, um, I will get another email for copyright, but I can just deal with it and my video will get mon monetized. But I can promise you that everything will go well with the series. Alright, 1486. So it's been 10 years, I think, since, um, yeah, since Ezio was a teenager, now he's a man, which does confirm that Ezio now has a full beard, I think he has a full beard, maybe. Uh, it's slowly getting there. Ezio, Ezio, Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. Okay, we have a Templar location over there, but first of all, um, earlier I found some Codex pages, so I'm going to head to the uh, Far Shovel location, and then we can use the, um, go back to the villa. You want to rob some Templars? I've marked the arsenal on your map. It's some kind of Templar base, so there's going to be all kinds of loot in there. Alright, let's go to villa. I mean, we've got a lot of florins, so we, we've got 71,000, which is almost a lot. We've almost had 100,000 florins, or, or 1 million. Um, yeah, so it's going to be back, we're at the villa. So I'm just going to quickly head inside uh, the location, into the mansion, and then I'll head to the codex pages. So I think I found either one or two codex page. Uh, which does mean that we can get Altair's armor. And the more Codex pages you find, the more health you get, which is very awesome. And we've collected more feathers as well. So we should be fine for now. Alright, let's go in here. Cool, now we have 92,000. That's a lot. Okay, awesome. Alright, I think that's it. All the codex pages. Yeah, that's it. That's all of them. Alright, Eagle Vision. Alright, looks like we have a puzzle to do. Ah, oh, crap, another puzzle. I'll check it out later. I don't want to spoil myself. Unless. 
unless I can find a way to actually... So I'm guessing this is some sort of map. Looks like a map. I don't know. Okay, that goes down. Where does that one go? That one goes... There, maybe? I don't know. Sort it out later. I've got 23. 23 out of 30 codex pages. And here we are, we back at the seals. Examine, we've already got that one. That one's cool. It's fine. Play seal. One more to go. And then we finally got our tires armor, which I'm really excited to acquire. I'm not too sure how much actual armor we get, but I'm really excited. Can we go back outside? Then we go. Apparently there's treasure somewhere over here. Where we got ideal city. Alright, it's not much around here to be honest with you. I can see some crystals on the map of the symbol, but we'll just check it out later. Seventeen out of one hundred. It's gonna be impossible for me to get one hundred. But nothing's impossible, we just gotta be brave. Alright, I'm just gonna check up top. So apparently there's treasure. I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, there's something up here on the map, because I'm standing above it, I don't know. I'll just check on the map, see what it says. Ah, oh, treasure. Uh, I'll leave it later. Alright, let's go. treasure here, or I think it's above me, I'll quickly find this treasure over here. If we don't find it, then, then we don't find it, we're just going to keep on going, continue what we're doing. Okay, what do I got to go, to go this way. something here. That's just on the roof. Is it on the roof? Looks like it. Yeah, it's up here on, on the tower. I can hear it, but sadly we can't get it. Unless... Oh! Ow. Alright, let's just leave it for later. I'll just do it when I'm not recording. Because it's just going to take too much time if I just walk around the cars all for hours and hours. For the uh, duration of the video. Anyway, we'll head back to... Uh, back to the other location, previous location that we were at, and then we can continue on with the game. Venice. There we go. Now 
Now next week is Anzac Day on Monday, which is a public holiday, I think. And I'm working that day, so there might or might not be any YouTube videos, or there probably will be. But also this weekend I've got no work on Saturday or Sunday, but I've got a feeling that I'll get some shifts. Um, so I don't know whether to record any videos, so I should just, you know, have a weekend off where I'm not recording at all. See what happens. I went down in with him. Excuse me, thieves coming through. My order of the Dodger himself. Don't carry your pigeons. Now I don't know if you can take the mask off or you still have to wear it for the entire game. I think it's the mask still on. I don't know. I think so. Now nah, we don't have the mask on. We don't. So uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is still getting its content. We had um, Dawn of Ragnarok, Siege of Paris, like loads and loads of content for the game. But I'm still not playing it, I don't really want to play um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Odyssey or um, Unity. If it's got to do the story, maybe, but because of gameplay and all the games are different for its combat, then maybe not. So uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and 4, apparently it has the same combat mechanic, I'm not too sure about parkour. I think it's got the same parkour mechanics, uh, but Assassin's Creed Rogue and Assassin's Creed 4 um, has the same mechanics. So I'll probably have to check that out, but yeah, I will talk about it in the future. I don't want to spoil the game for you. Echolo. Not you. Don't let him escape. Ah, he's off for a swim. How much do I got? Oh, we're fine. Come on, see what you got. Nailed it. Damn, can't go up that way. Oh, yes I can. Awesome. So there's another video game um, that some of you may be familiar with. It's called Bullet Storm. I was gonna buy it, but um, you know what? I'm just. I've got a feeling that I just shouldn't buy video games over and over again every time I get paid, so that's why I didn't really buy anything on my payday when I got paid. <laughs> there you are! Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarigo, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Barbarigo for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. I love the sword I've got. Alright, let's go check him out. Hi. 
interesting. So, Agostino died a disappointment to Venice. Moreover, after his death, he was charged with receiving bottles of wine as gifts and then reselling them tax-free beneath the staircase of the prisons. Okay, so, but if any of you are... Oh, let's go to another one. Silvio Barbario. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. For him, so I like how Sean was, how Sean said Easter, because you know I'm recording on Easter Monday, which is a public holiday, apparently. Um, well, it's weird because Easter Sunday is not a public holiday in South Australia, but it's a public holiday in other states, which I think is unfair. You know what happens happens you gotta deal with it so fingers crossed hopefully we can get Easter Sunday classified as a public holiday which would be amazing but it's uh, it's great there wasn't really any workers today for Monday but there was a lot on Thursday and Friday oh there was a lot on Thursday and there was a lot on Friday as well which was actually insane Cool. So I hope all of you had a good Easter. Um, I just worked. And uh, there was, I heard there was a lot of people going to the shacks as well. Um, but of course we know the shacks is a great place to visit. If any of you are watching this in Australia then obviously all of you know what a shack is. It's like a little house that's on a beach. On the shores of a beach. Um, but yeah, so that's about it what I have to say about shacks. They are pretty expensive as well so if any of you are planning to buy a shack make sure you have the money to buy a shack. So we have another glyph around here somewhere. Probably high up. Uh, I'll check it out later. So yeah, I think this video is recording for about 30 minutes. So once we start the next mission, I'll probably have to end it. So uh, I hope all of you are looking forward to me playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood in Revelations. Because Revelations will be the final video game to feature Ezio. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you. I think I already spoiled it, but I don't want to spoil it again uh, for those who are new to the channel. And also, we have 60 subscribers, so I just want to say thank you very much uh, for Please. the support for the videos. Help! Okay, it looks like someone's yelling out for help. Let's go check him out. Ah, I see him. It's one of those mercenaries. These. You must be one of Bartolomeo's men. What's happened here? Where is he? Silvio Starks attacked, took him deeper into the district. <coughs> North of here. Requiescat in pace. Alright. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and rescue... Oh, buddy. Okay, Bartolomeo. So, what's great about Assassin's Creed is that some of it... I did hear a theory that apparently all the events that happened in Assassin's Creed in the franchise is all historical accurate, but a lot of people think that it's not. 
So please let me know in the comments down below if you think Assassin's Creed is based on real events. And yeah, apparently Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag um, is historical accurate because don't want to spoil it, but I'll just have to talk about it later. Uh oh. Okay, where are we going to go? There's a feather up there. That guy's looking at me. Right, let's go. Nailed it. Oh, that archer missed me as well. Here you go, go for a swim. Okay, I'm trying to think who I should go for. Alright, let's just uh, assassinate. To die. By my hand, I swear. Nice. And let's free him. About goddamn time! I don't know if I should kiss you or slap you. Maybe both, just to be safe. That's quite all right. Who are you? I'm Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! Well, first of all... <laughs> oh, crap. I got you, buddy. Okay, got one more smoke grenade. Got him. Come on, see what you got, mate. To go. Agree. There are still more Her heads to be smashed. Perhaps we should try and avoid conflict. Why? Are you afraid? No, just practical. Given that they outnumber us a hundred to one. As you wish, Bella Mia. Watch for the large one. Dante is called. Most of Silvio's men are useless, but that one's trouble. Sweet Frida, how I have missed you. Silvio set his men to ransacking your place. Prepare yourself for a fight. Ah, no need. But, ah, ah, go! Let's see what you can do. Are <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, and fallen asleep. Alright, let's go. I've so got treasure in here, so I'll quickly check this out. It's a restricted area as well. Which is a bit of a useless. Not useless, but, you know, nuisance. Okay, where is he going? He's going there. Alright, we have 96,000. Holy moly, we're getting close to uh, 100,000. Alright, here we are. Let's go. If you value your life, you'll stand down. Never! What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them! Finally! Finally. 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 What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. What a mess they've made. Bianca. I hope she is unharmed.
Alright, open the gate to the headquarters. Yanka! Yanka! Is everything alright? What do you think? Look at this place! And poor Bianca. If something's happened to her. Aha! Oh, my darling. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Charmed. So, I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two. Uh, three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot in good conscience leave them behind. In Daisy, I will attend to it at once. Good luck out there, Ezio. Alright. Well, thank you for watching the video, fellas. Hope you boys enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay healthy. Till then, see you next episode. Peace out, mate.